What's up, everybody? A couple people asked me to do uh, some quick, simple videos about how to use the M Audio keyboards. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, with a couple different DAWs. Uh, if you can see, uh, hopefully you can see right there. I'm actually just using the standard M Audio uh, Oxygen 49. It's a pretty basic keyboard, and, and a lot of people probably have this, or they have the Oxygen 25 or something similar. Right now, I actually just have it set up to GarageBand. And it's I, I picked this one this DAW because it's very it's very basic it comes with every Mac um, and a lot of people I guess aren't too familiar with how to use their MIDI with it but if you hear right now it's just a regular piano yeah, the good thing about M Audio is that they self map uh, so no matter to what DAW you're using it's just a USB cord that is plugged into and it will read the DAW and it'll select the right program. Right now it's on program one, and it's already set up. So this slider actually controls the volume on the track. And your first knob in the second row is usually going to control the pan, which is right here, this one. Okay. So there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all, that's pretty much all you can really do with the Oxygen 49, um, like the basic keyboards. Aside from that, you can transpose where you're at. So like right here, I'm in the middle, middle C right here. Transpose it up an octave, up two octaves, up three octaves, up four, and it doesn't sound right anymore. But you can bring it back down. That's the only thing you can really do. Um, you have your pitch bend and modulation, which really only work on select keys. Uh, and you have your transport buttons, which work fine. Transports are over here. These are automatically mapped, so you don't have to worry about setting them up. Um, the, you have your looper and your record. So you can, I can hit record and record me playing. stop it and it'll play it back so that's good if you want to just basically use your keyboard without having to touch your, your keyboards up here or go back to the computer screen because you can just loop and create stuff using your transport options you can move forward and back play from the middle pretty much and it as far as GarageBand is concerned and and the way it works with the keyboard the only other things that I can show you is uh, how to actually mess with the sounds um, what I do one of my favorite things like let's say right here we're in the classic organ I love classic organs um, now my main edits is I'll go right in here into the software instrument and how you get there is really simple uh, like this is whoops sorry this will be like your main setup GarageBand, what you'll do is you'll click the I button down here, which is the view and hide track information. It'll bring it up. You'll usually be in the browse, which will be like how you'll create the instrument, what instrument you're creating. What I like to do is I like to go into the edit. You can change it. You can hear the tone wheel organ. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to analog mono. gives you that kind of synthesized Moog sound. We'll go ahead and compress that a little. This is just how to, how I make some of the, some of the synths. Uh, I don't really mess with GarageBand a whole lot, um, but just wanted to give you an idea. We'll give it a fast attack. Uh, we'll actually give it a higher ratio of 441, and we'll push the gain down a bit because that's really high. So. So there's that, and then we'll give it um, a little bit of an auto wall. Let's actually push the gain back up. A little more. Now it's kind of peaking, so let's bring it back down. There we go. 
go, that's a lot better. And a little chorus effect. Let's see. And let's pump up the visual EQ and bring the bass up. And bring some of the high end just a scotch down. And bring up some of the high mids. Bring up the bass just a tad more. And that is how you make some of the hard sounding synths that you hear in a lot of uh, a lot of electro and pop tracks that you hear today. So it's just like the rest is just messing with the settings and getting used to whatever DAW you're on. But the modulation actually sounds a lot different once you change where you're at. So just, um, just free up about an hour or two and just mess with whatever DAW you're on. That was it for GarageBand and M Audio. Uh, next, I'll try and do either Logic or Pro Tools, or if not, I'll just switch off to Reason. All right, see you guys later.